guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Leigh Ognanovsky and I do lots of makeup tutorials, fashion videos, hair care tutorials and much more. If you are not subscribed to my, my online family, please make sure you do. You'll be notified every single time I post a video, which is usually two times a week. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. As you guys would know, I'm doing a series dedicated to the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. This is is the third makeup look that I have done and to be honest I feel like this is my favorite I absolutely love the vibrancy of this eyeshadow I feel like it is just such a fun makeup look it is just so very different to what a lot of people would wear she really hit the nail on the head when it came to the bling boss collection this is that eyeshadow palette right here there is a lot of purples mauves and shimmer shades in this palette. This eyeshadow look that I wanted to create was very bold and bright. I felt like the shade Gem really spoke to me and I really wanted to create a makeup look that was just so out there and I feel like I did that. I definitely feel like the lighter matte shades are quite a lot harder to blend out, but in saying that, the rest of the eyeshadow palette has been so easy to blend and so very vibrant from the pan to my face. If you want to learn how I created this bright, vibrant purple eye, please just keep on watching. Okay, so now that my brows and my eyelids are set, as usual, I'm going to go in straight with the palette. Today I'm going to be taking the Bling Boss palette, which is the purpley pink cranberry shades. I'm going to go in and start to buff into my crease. So the first color that I'm going to take from the palette is the shade Hush Hush. This is a really pretty light mauvey sort of shade. I'm going to be using my M576 brush, my M576 brush. Immediately, like I said, I can start to feel the eyeshadow has a lot of fallout. Like, already in the pan, there's like just so much shadows coming out. But, yeah. So I'm just going to start to buff this into my crease. It's seeming to me, each palette that I'm using, that the transition shades are really quite hard to sort of blend in, which I find really bizarre considering Morphe's eyeshadows are just generally so easy to blend. But for some reason, these shades are really hard to sort of blend out, especially in this crease area. I'm finding that they're just a little bit inconsistent. i taking the shade Rockstar with my 217 MAC brush. I'm going to go in with this cranberry shade right here, deepen that crease area, and just with circular motions, deepen that outer V area as well and just whatever's kind of left on the brush just deepening that crease up really transition these shades so that I when I do my cut crease it's going to be able to blend a lot more seamlessly taking hush hush again just with whatever's left on the brush and just blending these two colors together in that crease area just so that there isn't any harsh lines. So I'm just taking Rockstar again and I'm just going to tap that color in the inner corner just to sort of deepen up that area now that we are happy with where it is positioned. I really want to keep this eye really quite vibrant. I don't want it to be Obviously, it's going to be a smoky eye, but I really want it to be quite obvious that it is a bright purple. I'm just going to take a concealer brush. This is just sort of like a flat synthetic brush. I'm going to go in with my lightest concealer and probably the thickest, which is the Fair Neutral by Tarte Cosmetics. It's the Shape Tape. And I'm just going to really get in there and do a cut crease. I want to add the shade Gem, which is a very vibrant shimmer shade, and add that into the eye. And I'm just going to spray some MAC Fix Plus on a flat brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Gem here, which is this bright. Then taking the original Hush Hush shade again and just kind of buffing these two in together 
And then once you've done that, taking Rockstar and starting to deepen up that area just to sort of blend these two shades in again. Then just with the small definer brush, I'm going to take the shade Mystic. This is a really dark plum color. This is great for creating, again, a faux wing, which is what I really want to do. I really love that look that eyeshadow does to bring out like that cat eye. So now that we have done that, I'm going to go in and take my makeup wipe again and just clean around these areas. Now for a lot of the brighter palettes, like I've now done the green eye makeup look and I've now used the purple one and I do find that these eyeshadows do give you a lot of fallout. So my suggestion would be to put your eyeshadow on first if you are really wanting to create a bright dramatic eye like I have. So I'm just going to clean up underneath my eye and then I'm going to take to the eye to create that wing aligner with the eyeshadow. It's just on my under eye area. So there's a lot of fallout there. Okay, so that just cleans up that area. Then as usual, I'm gonna jump off camera, finish off my makeup, and I'll show you what I do with my under eye area. Okay, so now that I've literally done the same base color, the same powders, the same blush, the same highlighter. Literally, I've done exactly the same thing as what I've done in all of my other Jaclyn Hill videos. So now that I have done that, I'm going to go back in to my eyeshadow palette. I am going to be taking the shade Rockstar. Now, this is the one of the lighter, the lighter plum shades. Shades. So I'm just going to be taking my small definer brush. I'm going to zoom you in actually again. And I'm just going to run this along my lower lash line. Then just to sort of buff that out, I'm going to be taking the bright purple shade, which is gem, just on that same brush and just kind of blowing out that lower lash line just so that you can get that real image of purple. Remember guys, this is makeup. You don't have to take it too seriously. And if you don't like it, you can wipe it off. Okay, so now that I've done that, I actually really like it with the bright purple on the under eye there. Um, like I said, the only thing is, is the fallout. That's just way annoying, but I think if you just be really careful. So now, just with a normal brush with nothing on it, I'm going to be taking the color Bling Bling. This is the bright shimmer pink shade, and I'm going to mix that in with the Glitz and Glam. And I'm just going to take that on a definer brush and really place this in the inner corner. I really want it to sort of stand out. So, and just whatever's left on the brush. I don't want it to be too pink, but I'm just going to run it on my... Oh, this is so fun. I'm just going to brush out my lashes like I normally would. Pop on my mascara from Revlon. This is the Ultra Volume. This is my favorite mascara at the moment. I'm just going to coat those. And then do my lower lash. So now that that is done, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to take the KKW lipstick and I'm just going to do nude one. I'm not going to overline my lips or anything. I just want to give it a little bit of color. And that comes to the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look. And I really hope that you're enjoying this series. I feel like that it's just a cool way to create multiple different eyeshadow looks, including each different palette that we have, considering you can buy these as individuals or you can buy them as a bundle. If you were thinking about buying one, I would highly recommend the bundle as I feel like it is a great value pack. But if you were wanting just one or a few of the makeup looks, this one, like I mentioned, is the Boss Bling. So that is the Purples and Mauves eyeshadows. 
So if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my online family, please make sure you do. Our family is growing online every single day and it just makes me so happy and thankful that you guys enjoy what I'm doing on here. But also, if you don't follow any, follow me on all my social media links, which will be listed down below. I do a lot of outfit of the day and makeup of the days on Instagram. My Instagram handle is wolf of fashion so come past and say hi to me over there but if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up but i will see you all in my next video see you later bye